What's up world? Lee here with stick strings and other things, my teeny tiny little corner of the internet, where during Flossy Vlogmas, Celestial Countdown Time, the month of December, I come to you daily. I am filming for day 15. I am doing this at night because Friday is, I'm not filming Friday. Friday is busy. Friday will, well, there will be no filming. So we are filming the night before, for tomorrow. Have myself a little, little drink. Very pretty, isn't it? It is not. It is not tea. It is non-caffeinated. It's mistletoe mar martini, it's very tasty. I am a fan. Thumbs up. Very good. Right. First thing we're going to do is, did I get done my day 14 stuff? Yes. Yes, I did. Here's all the day 14. So I did all of this here, this here, this bit here, and this bit here. This one was one square down. Mm -hmm. So I had to rip this entire piece off and restitch it because it was one square down. Wah, wah. I figured that out once I put this one in and this one didn't line up with this one and this one couldn't go in between and it wasn't working out and then I had to count everything. I figured it out, I put it in right and here we go. I don't know what's going on here. When I watched Caroline, when she was talking about today's piece, she said, it looks like a face. And now that's all I see. Eyes, mouth, face, little body. It's all I see now. But originally what I saw was a funky um, tree-like thing. So we've got this tree bit here with some flowers in it. And then the, the trunk down here is what I originally saw. But now, now all I see is a face. Little guy going, so, hmm. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows where we're going? I'm sure it's not a face. I think it's a tree. So I'm gonna go with tree. Here's a tree. Who knows? So yes, yes, I did get that part done. Balance, thank you. Things are falling. Things are falling. My socks. These are my Woolens and Nosh 24 stripe socks. And we had been doing purple, so I was like, oh yeah, we're gonna get more purple. No, we got brown. It didn't go to letter purple, like I was expecting it to. No, it went to a brown. So there are my two stripes of brown. I was totally expecting some lighter purples. Oh well, it was not. And in here, is my Euphorbia wrap by Amber O'Brien. This is the one I am using the Oxide Fade from Hue Loco. Though I'm not, I'm not, this is not a fade. I, I do not see a fade so much here anymore. But, all these colors. And then today's bit, which was this one here. I'm liking it. Not really my colors, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it once it's finished because they're not my colors. I don't know. I don't know. But I am enjoying knitting it, and that's what's important. Now, let's get to the opening of things. We have our tea. Day 15's tea, it's a cute little house. And this will be Royal Darjeeling Black. Well, when I film on Saturday, I just might have to be drinking Royal Darjeeling Black because that sounds quite tasty. And it says, bright, fruity, earthy, reading classic literature. I mean, 
Darjeeling is the champagne of teas, so I guess we should be reading classic literature while drinking it. We source our single origin Darjeeling from a medium altitude estate that provides a wonderful freshness and balance for a bright and aromatic cuppa. This classic tea pairs perfectly with all of your favorite books. And it has Darjeeling black tea, sun safflower, and blue Maldive flowers. Apologies, I did not state what was in it before. Well, that's just a nice Darjeeling. I like a good Darjeeling. Well, that will be Saturday's tea. Hooray. Modern folk embroidery. What shall we do? Other than be unable to open it. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. I really did like the green we were using yesterday, or today, or yesterday. It depends on how you want to discuss time. Oh, well, that's not what I was expecting. I'm not sure what I was expecting, but not that. We have gold star as our colorway. Oh, that is a very pretty, delicately tonalish variegated gr gold. I almost said gray. I mean gold. That is a good color. Oh, we don't have any golds yet. Mmm, that's going to go nicely. So December 15th. December is a time of traditions, and today we'll be sharing some of our favorite traditions over on our YouTube channels. So on the 15th, on Friday, go to Modern Folk, Embro Folk Embroidery's YouTube channel. Go to Jacob, see his traditions, and go to Evertote and see Caroline's traditions. Off the Grid Needle Arts would be her YouTube, if for some reason you do not know. And now, she looks. Still going with my tree thought. <laughs> it's a funky tree, but yes, I'm still going weirdly with my tree thought. Sort of. Is that the only place it's used? Do, 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 do. No, it's not. So, so some there. All righty. Awesome. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. I, I half hope I'll be able to get that stitched tonight so that on Saturday when I show you, I can show you. We'll see. We'll see. It's already getting kind of late tonight. Day 15 for Black Needle Society. Yesterday, on the 14th, we got threads. On the 13th, we got fabric. So today will be the pattern that goes with. Let me see if I can pick them all up. Goes with this. I was saying holly leaves somewhere involved. Let's find out. There we go. It wasn't wanting to open. Well, I'm wrong. <laughs> no holly leaves involved. But we do have from Pansy Patch Quilts and Stitchery, Peace on Earth, designed by Lori Pengeli. Pengeli. And there is the thing. It says Peace on Earth. Get my face out of the way. So that with this. That is sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So those can all go together. Let us read what it says for day 15. Peace on Earth pattern. What a wonderful sentiment to ask for this holiday season. Lori designed this piece especially for our nice list stitchers by Pansy Patch Quilts and Stitchery. That is rather lovely, and yes, we do need some peace. We do. I'm just going to use that as a coaster on the floor. What do we have next? Mm, we have the thing that went too far away. We have my classic Christmas countdown from McMullen Fiber Arts. 
What book, what book, what book shall it be? We can pair it with our Darjeeling. The Secret Garden. That's pretty colors. I used to love Secret Garden when I was a little girl. Absolutely loved the story. And then I was thinking about rereading it. But I've reread a couple of my books that I liked when I was a little girl and they don't always, they don't always read the same as an adult. And I was a little concerned about Secret Garden. And I'm afraid it's gonna be terribly, terribly racist. And when I brought this up to my family, one of my cousins, he, he looks up on the internet and finds out that yes, in, in fact, Secret Garden is one of the most racist kids stories, classic kid stories. It's on the list of most racist. Yeah. I think I'm just going to fondly remember the book from my childhood and not ruin that memory by rereading the book. Yeah. Vic Victorian Gothic by Canon Handi. I have not gotten them all together to show the fade. Ooh, we're going blues. Come here. Oh, that's pretty. I would do an entire sweater out of that color. With that light, 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 thank you. Slaty blue color. Very nice, very, very nice. This is Hugh Loco's Oxide Fade. More oxide colors. It's almost like, ooh, I like these. She went darker this time. So we've got some rusty reds here some browns, much darker blues. Mm. I like that. I like that a lot. That's pretty. Jimmy Bean. What colors? Ooh. So this bobble will be mostly this icy blue that has all these perfect speckles in it. Look at these dark, dark blue speckles here and there's some brown ones. And then highlights in this dark, dark blue. Well, I wish I could be showing you the baubles. I'm really glad I didn't try and stitch them, knit them during all of this. I, I would be stressed. So I'm glad that I'm trying to do it for next year. Well, we'll be doing the stitching of the baubles for next year. And, ooh, day 15, it will be yarn. It is yarn. It's not going to go back in. This is the Farmer's Daughter's Fibers Celestial Countdown. And we have a very wonderfully chocolate brown. So you may, may be able to see where I ran out of yarn using this color, but again, I don't care. It's going to be close enough. I mean, I'm close enough to the end that it shouldn't matter. So that is all the opening. I have a very busy day on the 15th, which is why I filmed the night before. I will see if I can get any of this actually finished for showing you on the 16th. Again, I don't know if I'm going to be able to film early or if it's going to be very, very late. Guess you'll find out on the 16th. Either way, I will be here on the 17th in the morning. YouTube may not let me upload it until afternoon, but we'll see what we can do. May the YouTube gods be ever in my favor. And on that note, I'm going to let you all go so I can edit this so that I can upload it for tomorrow morning and see if I can get my socks and modern folk embroidery bit done tonight. Seems unlikely, but 
ever hopeful, ever hopeful. Until the 16th, I hope the first half of December went well for you. May the second half go well as well. Bye all. <laughs>